Hello fellow YouTubers, Bear Prepper here. Today we're going to make baguettes using our homemade yeast cakes. If you smell them, they smell like yeast. Now the only thing you need to do differently is you need to warm your liquids and we're using our um, whey from our yogurt. We need a cup of whey or water and it needs to be at 115 degrees or less and we're just going to pre-soak our yeast cake in that in order to get it going. Now with my bread machine, I'm going to use a bread machine, I need to put the liquids on the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and let that soak for about five minutes and then we'll add the flour and the rest of the ingredients. Okay, it's been about five minutes and it is dissolved and we're going to pour it in the bread machine. Now we need a tablespoon of sugar, which we could have put in with the yeast to get it activated already. And we need two and a half tablespoons of wheat gluten. Um, when you're not using bread flour, you need to use vital wheat gluten. Trying to see how I can get you to see this. And that's what I have in here. So it's one tablespoon of vital wheat gluten to every cup of flour to make bread flour. So we're going to put in two and a half tablespoons and then two cups of flour. Two and a half, excuse me cups of flour. And then we're going to take this over to the bread machine. Pop it in. And set it to dough, which is six. And start. And we'll see you in one hour. All right, it is doubled in size. So now we're going to punch it down. And it did take two hours. And so we're going to punch it down and shape it into loaves and let it rise again. Okay, I've got my oven preheated to 375. And what I'm going to do now is brush a little egg yolk on it. Isn't it pretty? Not bad for yeast made from hops. Now, it did take double the time to rise. It is much slower rising. But you could make it in the morning and have it ready for dinner. I took uh, one egg yolk, threw away the white, fed it to the dogs, whatever you want to do with it. Save it to add to your breakfast the next morning. Freeze it. You can do a lot of stuff with your leftover whites. And I'm going to sprinkle a little garlic powder on it. Because we're having spaghetti tonight from food storage. I canned this back in 2010 and I'm just heating it up. Alrighty, let's put this in the oven. It's going to be 375 for 25 minutes. And there we go. And there you go. Baguette with homemade yeast cakes from Hops. Give it a try. Blessings. Okay, before I finish up this video, I wanted to tell you about where I got my Hops. It's at Leaners, L-E-E-N-E-R-S dot com. It's the You Make It Kit brand. 
and uh, they're actually beer hops so if you click on beverage and beer and then scroll down then right on down here you can go with your whole leaf hops I think you can see that and so I got these cascade hops I have to get my scale out and tell you how much an uh, ounce of cascade hop leaf is and it's two dollars an ounce oh we got a dog fight going on she loves him and he hates her and that how it always goes but anyways let me get my scale out and I'll measure a cup of hops and uh, we'll see how much that two dollars will buy for you Okay, so let's find out how much one ounce of hops is. So let's uh, clear this out and set it to zero. Let me move this back so you can see that. It's at zero. And we're going to do one ounce. Okay. There's one ounce of hops. We have a full bowl here. So this measuring cup is a cup and a half. So let's go ahead and measure it out. Oops, dropped one. One and a half cups. Three cups. Four and a half. Six cups. One, pick the one I dropped up. Seven and a half. And what's left? I would say eight cups of hops. See that pretty pollen in there? I don't know if you can see it, the orange shots. Eight cups of hops for two dollars. And it takes one cup of hops to make 14 yeast cakes. So that is even cheaper than buying yeast. It takes a little time to get it set up, but when you open this jar, it smells like yeast. So good luck with that, and I hope you all try it. And say hey to Jim at Leaners, L-E-E-N-E-R-S dot com. When you talk to him, he's a great guy, and he was really good at answering my questions. Jim, appreciate your help. Blessings.